Good morning, good morning, Ellen Sudderth of ESP Presents. How are you guys doing? Again, that's Ellen Sudderth of ESP Presents. Hey, I see you there. Hello, baby girl. How you doing, my daughter? Thank you, thank you for showing up. Good morning, everyone. Again, Ellen Sudderth of ESP Presents and ESP Book Chats, where we bring page turners your way. I have lots to show you, so I'm going to take my time so I won't scramble you all up and you'll be all just out of whack. But good morning to you guys and good morning to all those who are watching in, peeking in and out. I'm going to show you our upcoming events. The first book that I'm going to talk about it's not on here, but after this video, I'll put it on there. So, good morning. Good morning, Queenie. Queenie, you guys are up on a Saturday morning. I'll be seeing you in a few, Miss Queenie. We'll do a sprint, I hope. Yes, yes. Um, so, first up to bat, I'm going to try to be as still as possible. You guys know that I talk with my hands because my mom is deaf and uh, she is hearing impaired and mute. So, I move a lot with my hands. Do not um, let that bother you. So, I'll try to be as still, picture still as I can. So, you're going to see a few books. So, again, good morning for those who are peeking in and out. So, our first book, which is not here yet, I'm going to put it at the end of the video. We are going to spotlight Latrice Marie, and that's going to be... September 14th, and all shows are at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? So the first book by Latrice Marie is titled Abuse No More, The Breaking of a Mindset. In this story, uh, Latrice, at the age of three years old, she was penetrated. So she, she actually had sex starting at the age of three years old. Now moving forward... She sees a child's innocence as uh, on a battlefield. Not only is it on the battlefield, but a child's innocence is unarmed, unprotected. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that again on September 14th, and that's going to be at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Then the book that you see right now September 16th, we're going to talk to Nathan Richardson, who is a poet, author, and a very, oh, impeccable uh, orator. So in this story, you see that Frederick Douglass, his daughter, Rosetta Douglas Sprigg, she wrote this book to her mother and how she recalled her mother. And this was her mom, Anna Mur Murray, Anna Murray Douglas uh, in Cairo. They got married in 1923. So that, uh, that C -I -R -C -A, C-I-R-C-A, Cara, some people might pronounce it differently. And I may be pronounce it wrong myself. But uh, Nathan Richardson, he's going to talk about this book. He's going to give a, uh, we'll do a discussion on a, uh, on the biography of Anna. And we're also, he's also going to do a Frederick Douglass portrayal, uh, portrayal, I'm sorry, of Frederick Douglass. And he's going to do a 19th century, uh, poetry piece as well as poetry that he has written of his own. So again, on the 14th of September, um, I'm sorry, on the 16th. So Cherie's book, that's why I told you I'm going too fast. Latrice, her book is on the 14th and I will post that there. And Nathan Richardson, his is on the 16th. So you have sort of a back to back and I will post that. I'm getting back in view, don't get me queenie. I will post that here. So this is Rosetta Douglas Sprigg. She's gonna, uh, it's a book about her mother. This was in 1923 in Cairo. 
um, Cairo, where they got married. And this is a, this marks the celebration of the 183rd anniversary of Frederick uh, Douglass to Anna Murray Douglass. So this is going to be a biography discussed by Nathan Richardson. And he's also going to do, you don't want to miss that. He also going to do uh, some portrayals of Frederick Douglass poems and is going to be depicted in the 19th century as well as doing his poetry. So that's what we're going to do there. So remember, um, that's two events coming up. Now I'm going to show you another book. Our next one is going to be on, so we have this, the 14th with Latrice Marie, the 16th with uh, Nathan Richardson, and on the 21st, I'm going to be a Vanna White. I'm, I'm not saying I'm perfect at being that Vanna White, but hang on as I Vanna White, y'all. So here's our next book there. It's going to be with Tony. Tony Lindsay, guys, we have him quite a bit, and we enjoy his stories. This is a different for me to read. And this story is titled, Melanie Knight, A Vampire's Tale. So, in this story, Melanie Knight, she was a vampire for 37 years. And her involvement in the, in the CIA, it exposes $51 billion in human organ market. Now, you guys, are, we're going to meet her family. Her family has a peculiar family. You'll meet a little bit of her family. And also, there's a love interest in this book. It will be Fernando Castellos. So you'll meet Fernando Castellos, her love interest. And that's what we're going to talk about. So this is like a spy thriller type of book. So get ready. Woo! So, just to hear the tales, vampire, ah, you know, I was like, vampire? But then when I seen that it was a tale spin where it is a spy thriller, oh, yes, oh, yes. So, that is our um, coming up on the 21st. Uh, that is Tony Lindsay. Get ready, get ready. You guys remember... Carolyn Omoifo Ilagamba. Well, we are coming back with part two. And this is Saving Becca, Confronting Female Circumcision. Some people say um, female genital mutilation. It's all in the same. Well, we got a chance to talk to her. And this is going to be part two. We're going to go a little further because a woman's body just like a man's body, but God did some wonderful details to a woman's body. So you guys are going to learn about the woman's body. What did God design in that woman's body that was sacred? Some of you guys may know, may not know, but not only is this robbing a female by um, doing, you will real rehash that and I'll put the video here, but by doing these mutilating uh, uh, things to a female's body, God had created her body to be a certain way. And there's some biblical um, implications about this. So you, we're going to go a little bit further. We're going to confront, because we confront the sexuality. We're going to now confront, we confronted the circumcision and a little bit of the sexuality. So now you'll hear about not only just that portion of it, we're going to discuss the sexuality and the womanhood. And you're going to meet some of the women in this book. And you're going to meet the fight that they're still having to this day to stop that mutilation. It's a, a game changer in finances for them. They get a lot of money for doing these genital mutilations. And so we're going to talk more. And I'll put that video of our last first chat that we had with uh Carolyn Ilagambo. So I am going to uh, tell, show you guys. So that's that. 
And our group, we're still reading A Lineage of Grace. So in this story, we're going to end it this month. We have, uh, we've already talked about Tamar. We talked about uh, Rahab. Those are the two we talked about already in this story. A Lineage of Grace, you have five women. You have Tamar, Rahab, um, Bathsheba. You have Mary, and you have um, Ruth. Those are the five women, not in that order, but those are the five women. So, so far we talked about Tamar and we talked about Rahab. So we're going to just go ahead and quietly read the rest of the story. And at the end of this month, you guys will hear us talk about uh, this story. So we'll talk about the highlights of the biblical story. This is our reading, our book that we had um, we didn't want to just read it all in one day, but because we have more months coming up, and so this has been a long book, and so we're going to finish this book up for this month with those other three stories, and quietly at the end of this month, you'll see us talking glimpse about the five women in the Bible, and if you are reading with us, you, this is our, we haven't cracked the pages open yet, okay? At least I haven't. Some of the ladies may have read it. But this here is our October book of the month. We're not going to have uh, Christopher Victoria Christopher Murray, but it'll be nice if we, you know, try, you know, if, if she does. But this is not stated that she'll be live because we do have authors live that we're talking. So at this moment, no, Victoria will not be on screen with us. But if she does, we will let you know. So this is our October book of the month, The Personal Librarian. We have not read it yet. At least I haven't. Maybe someone's in our group and some of them are getting it. And uh, Marie Benedict and Victoria Christopher Murray. And I've read a, quite a few of Victoria's books, but I haven't read anything from uh, Marie Benedict. But I did see her books, so you guys may want to go kind of check her out as well. I like her stories based on the synopsis that I've heard. So going from bottom to top, this is our book of the month of October, and it's called The Personal Librarian. At the end of October, we will discuss this book. Our group, some of us will be on top, uh, on screen, uh, streaming from Zoom into Facebook. This is what we're reading now, Lineage of Grace and the five biblical women of the Bible and their stories. We've had this, this is part two, and we are going to um, talk again with part two with uh, Carolyn, and at that time she was Omoifo. We'll talk to her about um, the second part of this story and you will meet some of the women in this story. We will con we've will we confronted a circumcision. Now we're gonna talk uh, a little bit more about the sexuality in the womanhood and how these a woman's body is really um, designed in a sacred way to God. Not only are they robbing the young women of uh, their sexuality, their feelings as a woman to enjoy sex, but they also robbing God of the uh, way a female body, biblically, biblically, if you look into it, you'll see that a woman, she had to have her body, body sacred. If she was not a virgin, she could not, she, was, she could not be sold. She was ruined. So we will talk about these things and we'll go a little bit further. Stay tuned for that. And also we will talk to Tony Lindsay. This is a Melanie's Vampire Tales. And in this story, again, Melanie, she was 30. She's been a vampire for 37 years. Her involvement in the CIA, an assignment that exposed $51 billion in human organ market. You'll meet her blended, you'll meet her blended family, a peculiar family. You will also meet her love interest, who is uh, Fernando Castellas. So be on the lookout for that. And also, it is not on screen, but I will pop that there. Latrice 
uh, Marie book. It is titled Abuse No More, The Breaking of a Mindset. Uh, I'm sorry, let me come over here. Uh, Latrice, when she was three years old, uh, she was penetrated, which means there was some sex involved. And um, as she got older, she sees innocence, a child's innocence, uh, on the battlefield, unprotected, unarmed. And um, this is not good. So we'll talk about that. Can't wait to talk about that. And so that will be popped there. I hope you guys can still see me. And last but not least, so this one is going to happen on the 16th. You will hear from uh, Nathaniel Richardson, who is a great, impeccable, as I tell you guys, orator. And in this story, you, you see that Rosetta Douglas Sprigg, and that's the daughter of Frederick uh, Douglas, um, Anna Murray Douglas' daughter, she wrote a story, My Mother As I Recall Her, and um, we will see Nathan Richardson. He will do, this, this right here is a celebration of the 183rd wedding anniversary of Frederick Douglass and Anna Murray Douglas. And Nathan is gonna be a discussion um, biography and it's going to be a portrayal of Frederick Douglass, uh, some of his pieces, uh, poems in the 19th century. And you will also hear um, the poems that Nathan um, has written on his own and published. So thank you guys for watching. Again, I'm Ellen Sutter of ESP Presents and ESP Book Chats, uh, where we bring page turners your way. If you are an author and would like for your book to be on our page or platform, do tag yourself here. It does not mean you're committed to anything. We will look and see if you uh, fit, which means we'll try to see what genre, you know, in the group and people you want to really, as an author, get your book in the hands of the right, uh, those people who are reading in that genre. Uh, also, um, books, as far as books, uh, one of our rules is you do not post books on our page without being a spotlight because those who books are on our page, they have paid to have those spotlights. So we will not release those book links or anything like that. First, see us about the details of how do you submit your book to be a part of our um, chat. Again, I'm Ellen Sutter of ESP Presents and ESP Book Chats. Signing off. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.